Hey guys, today we're going to talk about vitamin C. How much vitamin C is too much? Stay tuned, that's coming up. So how much vitamin C is too much? Well, if you've been listening to some of these gurus online, you'll come under the impression that taking vitamin C in large doses may cause severe health problems. Not true at all, and I will prove that here. There has been nobody who's come down with vitamin C toxicity. No other adverse health claim has ever been accepted by all natural and allopathic health professionals. No child has been hospitalized because of vitamin C overdose, like other forms of synthetic drugs like Advil and aspirin. The fact is, when we look at vitamin C, we have to know what form of vitamin C we're talking about. We can't just generalize all vitamin C in one group and say, too much vitamin C is not good for you. Are we talking about synthetic forms of vitamin C? Are we talking about fruit-based vitamin C? Are we talking about, you know, vitamin Cs like acerola, kiwi powders, oranges? Are we talking about vitamin C supplementations that come with many forms of additives and preservatives and GMOs and MSGs? In today's over-toxified world with its pesticides and aluminum and GMOs and mercury and plastic and the rest of it, taking high doses of vitamin C as a powerful antioxidant on a daily basis is not only not harmful but absolutely essential anyway we can group vitamin c's into three different categories i will go over them and leave the links in the description below for you guys to check out each one as you wish number one is taking oral vitamin c in pure powder crystal form almost all of vitamin c supplements will have about 20 percent absorption at best there are two forms of vitamin c that have been extensively researched and tested with clinical evidence to prove that they are absolutely safe with no harmful side effects when taken in oral forms and these are ascorbic acid and sodium ascorbate you see vitamin Vitamin C is generally a water-soluble supplement. That means that your guts can only retain a certain amount of vitamin C at a given time. If you take too much of it at one time, it will just pass through your guts as loose stool, which is medically called vitamin C flush. Everybody has a different vitamin C flush. Somebody may hit vitamin C flush at 5 grams. Other people may hit flush at 20 grams. So it really varies from person to person. However, the higher your tolerance of vitamin C generally means that the more your body is asking for it, the more your body is deprived from vitamin C. So if somebody normally hits flush at 7 grams, for example, then catches a cold or a flu, that may change to 10 grams. So it's not a static measurement in diet dynamically changes even within the biology of one person. What's happening is that as you get sick, it basically becomes a form of scurvy. Your body is exhausting its sources of antioxidants and is asking for more. So you will hit flush at a higher dosage of vitamin C. So how do you take vitamin C and how much to take? So basically you want to take either ascorbic acid or sodium ascorbate in pure powder form with no additives, no colors, no sweeteners, and nothing else added to it. Just look at the back of the bottle and make sure that it's either sodium ascorbate or vitamin C crystals with ascorbic acid. I personally recommend sodium ascorbate simply because it is an alkaline form of vitamin C and it lasts about three times longer than ascorbic acid. Start with a couple of grams, mix in water or juice. A quarter of a teaspoon is usually about a gram. So if you have a full teaspoon, you get four grams out of it. Mix it in a juice or glass of water and don't worry, no adverse health problem will happen. You will just get a semi-loose to loose stool or bowel movement after you figure out your flush amount you can simply just cut back a gram or two and just keep having your mega doses of vitamin c every day your body will thank you for it and you'll be healthier and happier lennis Pauling, an american scientist who won the nobel prize a couple of times advocated taking mega doses of vitamin c and himself was on mega doses of vitamin c for the most of his life he lived to 93 years of age so he was doing something right the other form of vitamin c is iv vitamin c this is a great form of vitamin C for whoever suffering from chronic conditions like cancer, heart problems, diabetes, and etc. For this form of vitamin C, the recommendation is to go see a naturopath or a medical person who is certified to administer my vitamin C. Dr. Levy, who I definitely recommend everybody to uh, look into and, and see his lectures, basically recommends for a cancer patient to get administrated an IV vitamin dose of about one gram per kilogram of the body. 
athlete. So basically, if you're an 80 kilogram person, you want to go to your naturopath and ask for about 80 grams of vitamin C per session. And you want to repeat that about two, three times a week. The last form of vitamin C I want to talk to you about is liposomal vitamin C. Liposomal encapsulated vitamin C is basically a 21st century technology of vitamin C or water soluble vitamin production. It has gained a lot of attention basically by encapsulating water soluble vitamin C molecules in lipid form or fats. It has given us the ability to take vitamin C orally and have an amazing absorption rate of nearly 99% without the worry of how much vitamin C is too much. It literally goes right to your system and to your bloodstream. And people have achieved uh, amazing results with this form of vitamin C because you can actually add it to your juice or water and clinically it has been proven to be 10 times more effective than IV vitamin C. That is an amazing result for something that you can just take by yourself. Once liposomal vitamin C goes to your body it actually has the ability to slide right into your cells and provide powerful antioxidative effects by detoxifying your cells killing cancer cells and other bacteria and viruses amazing stuff this form of vitamin c has revolutionized medicine as we know it so there you go guys if you're taking powder form just go ahead and figure out your flush and start taking daily mega dose of vitamin c and you'll be a lot healthier and a lot happier in the long run with that said please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and i wish you guys a great day and remember to learn from nature one step at a time